Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Giratina Strikes Back playthrough. This is part 14 in this episode we're here in Martin City. Yes, Martin City. The city of sunshine and happiness. Despite the fact that there is a ghost type gym in this town. So the first thing you may have noticed is that we do have a new team member. I've been saying for a while I wanted a water type on the team so that we could take advantage of Surf and just because it was a type that we were lacking. We finally got ourselves Dirtle. I decided to level up Dirtle. At level 31, Dirtle evolved into a beautiful Terra Shell, this dinosaur looking turtle creature. Uh, water ground typing with Shell Armor, Lonely Nature. Uh, I will take the XP shell off of it shortly. Uh, but overall, its stats pretty average, nothing too crazy. They are very similar to Substitutes. And also, I gave it Surf. So it's going to be a Substitute replacement. That sounds so weird, because Substitute is the replacement. Anyway, it's going to be a Substitute replacement for the time being with Surf, Mudshot, Crunch, and Bubble Beam. It does have Crunch, which is going to be very useful for the upcoming gym, as I did say, Ghost Type Gym. So, we have Terra Shell. We also have Altaria, level 37. I decided to get everyone to level 37, just seemed like a even level for everyone to be at. It was the level that my highest Pokemon was at, just got everyone there. The gym could honestly be super high, but will struggle for it. Uh, so Altaria, no changes whatsoever, but still beautiful and shiny. Layer on level 37, no changes overall. Did try and learn Protect though. Arcanine, level 37, I don't think there is any changes to Arcanine. And we have Amphros, level 37, everyone, you know, getting up there. With the leftovers, pretty nice special attack. I'm tempted to teach this thing Thunderbolt, I really am, but at the moment, we're rocking with Thunder Punch still. And finally, my favourite change is Espeon, which finally has Psybeam. Level 36 it learns Psybeam, I thought it was level 35 for some reason, but either way we have Psybeam now. It's a nice increase, it's not gonna, you know, make our lives incredibly easy against this Ghost type gym, but it's gonna be a nice increase of damage. So let's go ahead, speak to everyone in the town, and then go ahead and battle that gym. That Giratina sure was cool, I would be his servant if he'd let me. I understand, my dude. I understand. I would too. Uh, trash. I am in the trash. Spell tag. Fits. Fits. You know? I like it. Time and space falling apart. Big deal. I'm too busy playing. For okay. 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 <laughs> I get it. I get it. Seems like you're in a very rare Luna. Have you seen one before? Uh. I'm not sure, actually. I'm probably not. Pokemon of people have adapted to nature to survive. There's no need to make nature conform to the way we want to live. Zigzagoon would be a great HM slave, though. It really would. It would be a lovely HM slave. You again? I could have sworn I saw you heading for Polar IC. It looked like you were in a real hurry to get there. I think I just found out where our Ryan, our twin brother, went. Luna region is doomed! That scary Pokemon will enslave us! Are you packing already? <laughs> You're just moving out. Okay, does so that mean there's stuff in here? Pico? Is this... Pico? Is that you? Pico! Beautiful! Oh dear! Alright, what's happening over here? People, Pokemon, the hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. That's old woman's- Yes! Oh! Right. Right. Left. I remember it! I remember the code! Okay, nailing it. We already had the TM for hidden power though, so that's not- not wonderful. Uh, I do want to see if it doubled up. It should have. Yeah, two hidden powers. Okay. I mean, I still don't know what my hidden powers are, so I don't really want to teach anyone hidden power. Maybe I'll teach it to Espeon. Instead of, like, quick attack. You know what, let's just do it. Let's just teach hidden power to Espeon. You know what, it's fun. I don't want to teach it to a bunch of Pokemon, to be honest, but let's just teach it to Espeon, see if it gets something good. If it gets, like, a Ice move, that would be amazing. Uh, but we can get rid of Quick Attack. We're never really going to be super slow in comparison to a Pokemon, so it's not, it's not the most necessary. Let's try and work out what our hidden power is going to be, first of all. I don't think it tells us. Yeah, it's just saying a normal type at the moment, but we know it's not going to be a normal type move. We know that for a fact, so let's find out. What in the world is that between the trees? I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. Is this a distortion rip? like that. I like that. That's a good touch. 
I don't know what to do about this. Go to business. I should call my mom. I, uh, and she's gonna say what? You you high? Uh, don't think it's gonna work. Trading Pokemon with others. It's as if you're trading your own memories with other people. But it's not. You're trading. You're trading a living creature, which is you know maybe not the best. I think my brother has some mental issues. He's been acting very strange lately. I'm gonna relate. <laughs> what is up, brother? I am just chilling out at my house. Do you know what I'm saying? He's not. He's, not, he's fine. My say is the slide. Words are hard. Guardian Sea is known as the City of Death. They say La Roche? La Roche? La Roche? I'm gonna go with La Roche. Mansion was built on an old burial ground. Isn't everything built on a burial ground at this point? I'm pretty sure everything is built on a burial ground at this point. And we can buy Hyper Potions! <gasps> give me 20. Give me 20 right now. And give me like 20 Ultra Balls as well. Boom. Goodbye money. I didn't need you anyway. Alright, that's, you know, quite, quite like five more. I'm feeling feeling fancy. I'm feeling like having 25 today. Let's go. Do I want to sell anything? Nope. Let's go ahead and check out this gym. I'm going to go into like the first Pokemon, try and hit and power it and see if it hits. That's my first plan. Let's go ahead and find out uh, what is happening over here. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bad Carlos? You're going to need to remember your steps here. You can't use Flash to make it lighter. Good. Wine City's gym leader is Lucy. I think that's my favorite name, actually, Lucy. Out of every name in the entire universe, that's probably my favorite name. She uses Ghost-type Pokemon. You should try using Dark-type moves to scare her off. Okay, go for it. That uh, sounds like a plan. It does, in fact, sound like a plan. I'm just going to go straight up. Alright, this isn't... First dead end, good. <laughs> Are you having trouble finding your way around? Uh, a, a little bit. It's just a, just a little bit. Kind of the loop de loop right back there, but we're gonna ignore that. Hex Maniac Terror would like to battle, sends out Haunter. Alright, let's see what Hidden Power does. I could Psybeam, yes, but that wouldn't help us. Hidden Power. It's ground! Okay, and now we know. See, that wasn't so bad at all. We have a ground type Hidden Power. Okay. Uh, ground is physical in this gen, so it's not. Incredible, but I guess if we come up against a steel type, at least we have something. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about having ground. It's not what I expected. I also wasn't expecting to just figure it out straight away like that, but that was incredibly helpful. Very, very glad we went up against the Haunter first. Uh, now we can use Terra Shell. Look at this beautiful dinosaur boat one we have right here. Crunch, get out of here. Duskull, you're so tanky. You're a first stage evolution. And you actually, despite your sprite, you only have one giant red eye that floats in between both of its other eyes. Uh, you can't really tell that from its sprite, but one eye. It's weird. That's why when it evolves into dust pops, it only has one eye. Boom. Knowledge. Right, let's continue on. Uh, we don't need Espeon in front anymore, so let's just go ahead and put a more fun Pokemon in front, aka Terra Shell, because it's new and exciting. Okay, that leads to a whole bunch of other ways. This has to be the dead end. Okay, good. Just double checking that. This is going to be a dead end. Good. Okay, I'm I'm nailing this so far. I'm not the gym leader. Are you lost? Uh, no. So far, I'm looking for dead ends because I actually kind of need XP. So this is fine so far. X Maniac Wilma would like to battle since I'm Duskull again. Level 35. The levels aren't as high as I was expecting. I thought they were going to be like 40. I was genuinely expecting that to be like above level 40s in this gym. So that's why I leveled everyone up to level 37, because I thought we'd have a fighting chance, but I may have over leveled. I'm not too concerned. This isn't a nice look at the end of the day. We're doing this to find out what fake one are in this game. That's my main concern right now. Uh, Haunter, again, you should go down to one crunch. I'm feeling the one crunch bop right here. Are you gone? I think you're gone. Not gone. Wow. Our physical attack is higher than our special attack, there's something to be aware of, uh, which isn't, isn't great. I guess it makes use of our ground typing more than our war typing, but it's not. I don't love it. I don't love it. I wish they were just equal, because then it could just be a straight up mixed attacker and I wouldn't have to worry, but it's all good. It's all good. Uh, so question of the day, because I feel like it's pretty obvious where I'm going with this. Uh, if you can remember the last two. I'm gonna finish off the trifecta right here. What is your favorite grass type Pokemon? Before, 
I saw a lot of stars, I'll admit. I wasn't expecting to see uh, Greninja's, Primarina's, Toracat. Toracat, though, I do definitely appreciate. Definitely appreciate. That is like a very, very close second for my favorite fire type behind uh, Entei and Arcanine. Toracat, definitely up there. I do definitely like that a lot. But what's your favorite grass type for me? Bulbasaur was my favorite star, okay? It was my first star. There's a lot of nostalgia there, all right? I like Bulbasaur a lot. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite grass type. I like Bayleaf a lot, because it had a hilarious personality in the anime. But it's not my favorite. My favorite is actually a rather new Pokemon, which isn't the case for a lot of my favorites. Am I, am I building suspense correctly? Am I doing this right? You know, do you want to know? I, I don't know if anyone even cares, but... Lurantis is actually my favorite grass type. I don't know. I don't know. It just... It was just a Pokemon that I liked. It had a unique move, and I was like, that's amazing. Its design reminded me a lot of Cypher, but as a grass type, which is honestly something I've been slightly hoping for for a while. I wanted more of a, like... Bug Grass Cypher type Pokemon. I kind of wanted it to be Grass Fighting, but it wasn't, and I'm okay with that. I still like it a lot, and I also found a shiny of it in my Sun and Moon playthrough, which was amazing. So that that may have helped a lot. <laughs> that may have helped a lot, but that's my favorite Grass type. Have you almost found Lucy? Um, you're making it sound. Is she gonna be like a little kid with a doll? <sighs> I hope not. I really hope not. It's just that they, they keep saying, have you found Lucy, like it's a game of hide and seek. I'm scared. I'm scared. She can, she can be terrifying. Someone also said that there was going to be a ghost type fake mon, so I'm, I'm very excited for that as well. I'm very excited. Because I don't think we've seen any ghost type fake mon, because Pleb was a rock fighting type. I do definitely still want to go back and evolve all of the other fake mon that we caught. I will go back and do that, like... Hair and and all the others. Oh, is this? I think you are Lucy. If I had to take a guess, I would assume you are Lucy. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and get this over with. Eek! Oh, I'm so sorry. You scared me. I only recently became a gym leader, and I'm not used to this dark and creepy gym. You're like Flannery, but your typing has changed. I love it. I'm Lucy, by the way. I suppose you're a trainer and want to battle? Okay, but please go easy on me. No. No, I, I'm not doing that. Okay. Leader Lucy would like to battle you, send out Haunter first. Level 40, so we do hit level 40. Okay, that's about what I was expecting. I'm cool with that. Uh, bite should be a 2 KO. It is nice, I like that. Don't do anything stupid. And the stupid things begin. Confuse Ray. Arcanine. Arcanine. I don't want to repeat last time, okay? I, I will swap you out. I'll swap you out for Pleb. Don't make me do it. I will swap you out. Good, you're learning, okay? You're learning what threats are, Arcanine. And you crit. He gets it. He's staying on the team for the time being, okay? There will not be a change. Clifford, you did good. You did good, Clifford, because now I can swap out and get rid of that confusion. I like it. About to send in Dusclops. Uh... This is probably going to look a little bit weird. But I kind of want to go into Espeon here, because I feel like Dusclops is weak enough that I can get a couple of side beams off, whereas against a lot of other Pokemon, I feel like Espeon's just gonna get bopped. Eh, maybe that's just stupid. Maybe this is the time to bring in something like Laron, because Laron's tanky and they can just... We can have a tank fight, this is fine, plus Iron, Iron Tail does have a chance to lower defense. If we can get the defense drop, that'll be incredible. Oh, we don't. But it takes itself out. I'll call that a win. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 10 out of 10 plays. Sableye. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go into... We don't want to go into a, for a Sableye. We're definitely swapping because we got smacked by a curse. I'm not playing around with no curses. Okay. Two Pokemon left. So far, this is going very smoothly. We can go for the Thunder Punch. Goes for the Fake Out. If we get static, that will laugh. Go on, get static. Doesn't get static. Leftovers is going to heal up most of the damage the Fake Out did, though. 
or not. Leftovers is not as much as I seem to remember, apparently. But after that, the tech, we're actually healing up to the point that we need to be at. Okay, that's fine. Uh, fake out, detect, and what? Shadow Punch, or... Like, say why, like, you're not a good Pokemon. Faint Attack, yeah, that's not doing too much at all. You, go ahead. Yeah, that's pretty weak. Sableye, not the most ferocious Pokemon out there. Uh, this is... This is a very, very good opportunity to make Lucy waste her Hyper Potions. I like that. I like that a lot. We do also just keep being healed, so I mean, this is fine. If this crits, I'm actually going to be kind of sad. Ooh, that was a little bit close. I'm trying to make them waste the Hyper Potions here before they get to the last Pokemon, because I... I don't know, someone said, someone said Ghost Fake Mon, I'm scared, okay? It could be anything, because I don't... I don't like to look at the Fake Mon ahead of time, I like to just see them and get an initial reaction. So... I'm kinda, I'm kinda scared. I'm kinda scared. Plot twist. Sableye takes out my entire team. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be a plot twist. Uh, okay. Knock off. Oh! Should have done that earlier. Should have done that as your first move, instead of fake out. Oh, and now you're paralyzed. Well, that's... You're just hype potioning? Okay. I'm just gonna speed through this. Oh, and we, fi we finally take my two hits. There we go. And Gengar. Oh, well, that's... That's not as exciting as I was hoping for. Does that spin out speed? You know what, let's just use Terra Shell. Terra Shell is new, Terra Shell needs some exciting action. We have Crunch on Terra Shell, let's do it. Let's just get in here and do it. Maybe the fake Mon was on a trainer and I skipped past them, that could honestly be it. We'll see it eventually though, so it's not too big of a deal. Shadow Ball is physical. Lol, look at that damage. Gengar, pathetic. I'm sorry. Gengar's so bad. Gengar's so bad pre-gen 4. Well, with its stab moves anyway. Look at this! This is disappointing! Oh, it's so sad. Oh, and we got a special defense drop? Oh, no. No, this isn't happening. I'm not taking it out this easily. Oh, the Gengar. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. Look at that Gen 3 Gengar right there. Feels bad, man. Oh, thank goodness it's over. I rather enjoyed myself more than I thought I would. You're a fantastic trainer, and I am glad to award you this gym badge. That went well. That went really well. We received the ghost badge from Lucy, and we get a buff how? How do we get buffed today? All Pokemon up to level 7, even those uh, received through trades, will be your command. You'll also be able to use Fly. Fly? Okay, that's how we're being buffed. And we get a Shadow Ball TM. I don't think... I mean... I mean, maybe someone can learn it, but I don't think anyone can. Maybe Altaria or something weird, but... Well, Espeon can, but Espeon doesn't utilize it that well. That is fine. Alright, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Kinda wanna run the way I didn't go. Was that, like, up here? No, I bowed to you. What way didn't I go before? This way? Didn't this lead... Okay, so I think this trainer might have been the one trainer that I missed. Whoops. It's not too big of a deal, though. It's not... It's no worries. So, has the Dimensional Rift moved? But I assume we're going to Polarize City, actually. We're not going away with the Dimensional Rift just yet. But I'm still curious to see if it's moved. No, it's... it's... I like to imagine they just had a glitch with one of the trees and they just kept it in. That's what I like to imagine. And they utilized it to, the, to like their advantage with the dimensional stuff. Probably not what happened, but oh, this is this is a place. Okay, Tara Shell, get in front. This is your time to shine. Actually, Cotton Bud, you haven't seen the light of day yet. Cotton Bud, you're shiny. You're going in front. Laroche Mansion. What is happening over here? Oh no. Okay. Um. Okay, so we're looking for a key for the middle door. Got it. Got it. This loops back to the same place. We have ghosts here. Which is Pumpkid. 
Pumpkin, you... I don't have an opinion on Pumpkin at all. Just every door just... I'm not looking for a hidden item, am I? That would suck. Oh! Just garbage in the trash, okay. Just garbage in the trash, okay. Just garbage in the trash, as always. We have an old woman over there that's doing weird things. Great, great, um, that's wonderful. Let's go out this way. Empty, alright. Ah! Uh, Mm, headless woman. Okay, great. I, I like it. I like it. It's, they're trying to spook me. Sadly, I don't really feel spook. Unless it's something really stupid, then I feel spook. Hello? Hello, this is Carlos. Everything. Pain, death, no escape. Yeah? Yeah, same. Same. I agree. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, we find a revive. <laughs> Even if we die, we're fine. We have a revive. What's, to, what's that to be worried about? Let's go. Uh, try and spook me again, game. It was a funny attempt. I want to see it again. Oh. We found ourselves a dive ball. Okay. This place continues for a lot longer than I was expecting, though. I thought it was just going to be like a, a copy-paste of the, the sunken ship, but it doesn't seem like it. And I like that. That was just garbage. Okay. We found ourselves the basement key. That's what we were looking for. And the woman has now disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. So if we do, if we aren't in the room, the woman isn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Oh! I read that name so wrong to start with. Oh boy, I had Pokemon Clover flashbacks right there, and I read that as, uh, um, abortion, and that's, hmm, that's not his name. Okay, it is Armorition. Okay, Dragon Breath, can we get a Paralysis? <gasps> is it plus Steel type? <gasps> ooh, 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 I like myself some Steel types, I'm definitely catching it. I'm gonna throw a Great Ball, we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, we can always swap into Ampharos and paralyze it if we need to. That didn't seem so bad. I'm going to throw another Great Ball and hope for the best. It doesn't seem like its catch rate is super high, but I mean, it's hard to tell just from shakes, really. Seems promising. There we go. Okay, we call ourselves an Armorition. I am not nicknaming that. I should nickname it. I should nickname it something just so far off that I can never accidentally say what I thought it was. They are restless spirits of knights which possess gauntlets. Okay. They often wander around old castles causing mischief. Why gauntlets? Is there a reason why gauntlets? They just they just saw it and were like, why not pauldrons? Why not shoulder pauldrons? Huh? That's what you really want to take hold of. That would be that would be the good stuff. So I'm assuming that's the ghost type. Would would definitely make sense. I think we found it anyway, so that's exciting. I wanna I wanna see if it evolves. I wanna I wanna test out how good it is. I wanna do a lot of things. Okay, I wanna evolve all these fake mon, but there is only so much time I have to grind my Pokemon in a day. <laughs> There's only so much time. Alright, this is the only other door we didn't go into. Yeah, okay, it's the same thing. Let's check out this basement though. This lovely just die. Nice. Let's see what's happening in here. Bin. Just garbage. Bin. Just garbage. I see a theme here. Bin. Just garbage. Great. Get out. Get out. Spirit tomb? Level 40 ghost. I'm assuming... Would they make this a fake one? Have they made this a fake mod? Yo, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very yes. Glare. Okay, I'm about to do the same thing back to you. Get paralyzed. Uh, I do definitely want to see if I can catch this. Oh, that did a lot. 
Are you a high physical attack ghost type in Gen 3? That's... that That's good. That's good. I would not mind having one of those. That's for certain. Uh, we can probably hit you with a Thunder Punch and be fine. I'm very nervous about taking you out. That's fine. Uh, we get hit by a Shadow Punch. That's okay. I'm okay with this. We do have Lair on, which can sit there and tank moves if we need to. I'm just gonna throw an Ultra Ball. This is the kind of Pokemon that you throw an Ultra Ball at. Level 40 Ghost. Yeah. We can catch it. This is a fake one. Oh, come on. I... Okay. Okay. We're losing Amphrost. That's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. I wanna try and Mudslap you. Mudslap hits. We get an Accuracy Drop, which is always nice. We're gonna Mudslap again. Just to make sure it's slowly weakening and we're dropping its accuracy so we don't take as much damage, we don't have to waste as much stuff. Third time's the charm, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, we're in a nice spot here. I could mud slap it until it was in red health and throw ultra balls, but I feel like that's enough. I feel like we can throw an ultra ball here and we'll be a we'll be a-okay. Maybe be okay. Maybe maybe be great. Okay, we'll be okay. It's fine. Or not. Or not. Do you need to be slapped in the face with more mud? Is that what guy? Are you enjoying this? Oh no, no, no more. Nope, nope. Fourth time's a charm. We're not doing that again. That's scary. That's what I was afraid of. That's why I stopped. I don't like that. I don't like that crit. Don't crit. I don't want them. I don't want any crits in my entire playthrough. Not against me. Not for me. No crits. I'm okay with that. You are not getting caught as easily as the first time, and I do not appreciate that. Please get in the ball. Ghost. I want you. One new ghost. There we go. Okay, we catch ourselves the ghost. The naming, I, I, I don't know about the naming. I, I kind of like it though. It, it's, it's what it's meant to be. <laughs> a ghost is the soul of a dead human or animal that can appear to the living. They are generally described as solitary essences that haunt particular locations or objects. It's, it's a ghost. It's four foot eleven. It's a small ghost. It's a small ghost. Uh, do you want a nickname? You know, you are ghost. I, if I nicknamed you, then that's just weird. Let's see what is down here, though. We get HM02, which is Fly. I was expecting that to be in here somewhere. To be honest, I kind of forgot about it, but that's fine. We found the Gate Key. And TM13 Ice Beam. Oh, I'll take Ice Beam. I will absolutely take Ice Beam. And there is a trash with nothing in it. Okay. Ice Beam. That's an interesting one. I want to wait and see if we get a better water type. Because at the moment, a water type doesn't have the highest special attack. There's probably a time when Ice Beam will be more useful. And also, we just don't need Ice Beam yet. If there's a time when I'm worried about dragons, yeah, I'll take Ice Beam. For the time being, not too worried. We have Cotton Bud. We have, you know, if we go up against a Dragon Flying type, we have Rock type moves. We have Pokemon to deal with it. We can always paralyze it. I'm not, I'm not too concerned at the moment. Ice is obviously good against other types other than Dragon, but that's... That's what I mainly want it for. I feel like that's why I would put it on my water type Pokemon. I use it so that the water type can then hit dragons and be tanky and all that kind of stuff. Vaporeon is like the ideal Pokemon that comes to mind when I think of Ice Beam for some reason. I just feel like that's the type of Pokemon that you want Ice Beam on. I don't know why. There are a bunch of other good Pokemon that utilize it well, but Vaporeon, that's like the standout one for me. So is this where I use the gate key? It's not. It's not. I thought maybe this was meant to be a gate for some reason. Why do I think that was meant to be a gate? I'm not sure. But I did. Oh. Gate. Ah, ah, that makes so much more sense than trying to unlock a straight up distortion in the world. Okay. But I feel like that is a nice place to round off for this episode. I do want to go and check out the fake one that we caught. I will do that. But the end of our adventures. Let me go and check out these ghost types we caught though and see if their physical attack is anything to to gaze at, you know? Just take a gander at. Let's have a look at ghost first of all, because you're exciting. Uh, you have Intimidate, which is obviously an amazing type. Oh, that's an interesting type. Intimidate's an amazing ability, not type, by the way. <laughs> type Ghost Normal. That's... That's an exciting type. I like that typing. That's a typing that isn't actually in the Pokemon game yet, but it is a typing that... I would say benefits more than hinders. Because the normal typing adds an additional stab, but you don't gain any weakness. And it makes you immune to Ghost. 
Like, you're immune to fighting, so normal doesn't do anything to hinder you there. You become immune to ghost, which is a weakness that you have. You become, like... It, it's a good typing. It is a very good typing. You also have some very, very good stats all around. With Shadow Punch, Slam, Glare, and Shadow Ball. This is a very good Pokemon. That looks really good. And we also have Am Armorition. Okay. Which has Levitate, which is a good ability for a Steel-type. Adamant Nature. With a high attack. Oh, I really want to use this. Oh, I really want to use this. I want to use this over Laron, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think I will. I think I will use this over Laron. I'm not entirely sure, though. I I sat here and pondered it for a moment, but... I, I don't know. I'm still not entirely sure. I think I probably will use this over Laron, just because it's new and exciting. Uh, but I will definitely check out his evolution. And I will try and evolve as many of these Pokemon as I possibly can. It will take a while, because the Pokemon here are around level 20, and they do take quite a while to level up to uh, level 37 that our team is at right now. So, there might be a couple that don't get evolved, but I will definitely try and evolve Tyrangle and get that leveled up. Definitely going to try and evolve uh, Pleb if that has an evolution, and I'm definitely going to try and evolve Armorition. I assume Ghost-type doesn't have an evolution. If I'm wrong on that, please correct me, because this Pokemon would be hilarious to evolve, but it feels strong enough as it is. So these three are probably the three that I'm going to get evolved for the time being, before next episode. And then uh, the episode after that, I will work on these other four. Seems like we've got a plan. So, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, right. But for now, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!